The maintenance wash is arguably the most fundamental or basic element of detailing. It's probably the first thing you're going to learn and develop in your journey into the detailing world. Obsessed Garage's owner, Matt Mormon, has a very distinct and effective wash method that he uses. We thought it'd be a good idea to break down each section of his wash process into individual videos for you to reference. In this video specifically, we'll be talking about the wheel wash method and all of the tools you'll need to do that. I have three chemicals right here. Uh, that are Hyde Serum Rust Stopper, PNS Brake Buster, and then OG Tire Dressing. It is worth mentioning that I have the Brake Buster in both a Pressol bottle and a foam cannon, and I'll show you why that is once we get to washing. We'll also have our wheel bucket from our bucket solution in addition to our pressure washer. As far as tools go, we have our lambskin mitt, so this is for cleaning the faces of the wheels. We have the Easy Detail Wheel Brush, both the small and the large one. We have our Incredi Brush for the barrels of the wheel. Our Lug Nut Brush, Race Glaze. We have our Detail Factory Tire Brush. Our Curve Ball. And then it's a good idea to have a towel as well in case you get any tire dressing on the rim and also to buff down those tires. So let's take this outside and get into actually cleaning the wheels. Okay, so we're outside, we have our car, we have our wheel bucket with all of our tools, and then we have our pressure washer set up and ready to go. Uh, something worth mentioning, the wheel bucket does not have any water in it. Uh, it's just basically a storage for our tools. So when we use them, we'll spray them off. This is the first step of the wash process. So we haven't sprayed any of the car and you don't want to spray any of the car until you're ready to wash the paint. So we're only doing the wheels. We're only spraying the wheels right now. That's basically just to avoid any sort of water spots or anything like that. So first step, we'll take our pressure washer and then rinse off our wheels. I also sprayed a little bit in the wheel wells just to get rid of any of that dirt. Now our wheel is rinsed. That's basically to get off of any of the uh, heavy dirt and stuff before we actually touch the wheel. Uh, I know that this is going to dilute the brake cleaner that we're about to use, but we really don't care because as long as the rims aren't super caked in brake dust and grime, the wheel cleaner is effectively just a lubricant so we don't scratch the wheels. So I'll take my nozzle off and I will get my foam cannon with Brake Buster, and then we'll foam this wheel down. And this KWS produces some incredibly thick foam, as you can see. Uh, foaming the wheels isn't exactly necessary, uh, but it does provide a lot more coverage, and honestly, it's just a lot more fun than using a spray bottle. If you don't have access to a foam cannon, you can uh, clean your wheels with just a spray bottle. You'll just want to make sure that you get even coverage on the tire, the rim, and in the barrels as well. First step, I'll take my Incredi brush and we'll uh, clean out these barrels. So I'm just going to wet it down first. And I can get behind these spokes. Now, when I'm cleaning the barrel of the rim, I'm not really applying a ton of pressure. We're not scrubbing the rim, we're just wiping the rim down. There we go. I'll rinse off my Incredi brush. Okay, put that back in the bucket. If you had very large brake calipers or rotors, you would use the Easy Detail brush on the barrels as well. Uh, but since these uh, aren't that big and we could do most of it with the Incredi brush, we'll move on to the wheel wells themselves. So again, I'll wet my Easy Detail brush down and we'll clean inside the wheel wells. Rinse my brush off. And now we can move on to the lugs. So I'll get my Race Glaze brush out clean these lugs out one by one. Right. Now the intricate areas are done. We can get our lambskin mitt and then clean the faces. And wet it down. I'll start on the outside of the rim just to get that recessed edge and then work my way in. Focusing on areas like the valve stem, making sure I'm touching every surface of the face. And then I'll move on to each spoke. So getting the face, both sides, and the backs. And then we'll take our bottle of 
brake buster, spray a little bit on the tires. We'll get our detail factory tire brush. Again, wet it down real quick. Now that we know that our whole wheel and wheel well is clean, we can rinse this off. Now that this wheel is fully cleaned, I'm gonna move on and clean the other three. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wash this entire car, but for the sake of this video, we'll pick back up with the wheels after we've washed it to apply Hyde Serum Rust Stopper and then the tire dressing. I'm going to apply some Hyde Serum Rust Stopper to our brake rotors just so they don't get any of that surface rust. So we'll do one spray right there. We'll hit our three other rotors. And uh, if you're worried about full coverage, uh, we're gonna pump the brakes a few times before we pull it into the garage. So that's not something you need to be worried about. Okay, so the car has been fully washed, fully dried. We just finished up the drying aid. Uh, so now we're on to our last step, which is to apply some Fist Garage tire dressing to the tires. So I'll get my curveball brush, spray a little bit in there, and then we can apply this all over the tire. Now I'm going to apply some tire dressing to the other three tires, and then we'll come back and buff it off to a matte finish with our towel. Once your tires are buffed down to the finish that you're looking for, uh, you are completely done with the wheels. Uh, I would recommend checking out the other videos we did in this wash process. Um, and as always, you can get everything we showed in this video on our store at obsessedgarage.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments or directly at support at obsessedgarage.com.